gonna fucking lose it. Oh, it's gone. Uh-uh. Yep. Uh-uh. Yep. Where is it? In the lake. <laughs> Did it die? It's gone. Did it die? Did it yeah. Die? It's gone. No way? Yeah. Holy fuck. All right, welcome back everybody. We're down here on Hungry Horse Reservoir. We're flying up to that bitch. The Great Northern is about six, seven miles up to the top as the crow flies, so I'm gonna get her up there. All right, we're sitting at 15 satellites. Full battery. All right, watch out. Birth, death, and the unborn. We've been discussing the Buddhist philosophy of change, of life as a flowing, dynamic pattern process, which is essentially immaterial because it isn't anything you can grasp. We use the word substance, we use the word solid, we use the word matter or something you can catch hold of, or stand on, or rely on, or cling to. And the basis of the Buddhist philosophy of change is that there is nothing of the kind. There is nothing to hang on to, nothing to rely on, nothing to cling to. But, when we say, you see, something matters, the word has a double meaning, in that it means that it's substantial and that it's important. And so we are brought up from birth play the game of life in a certain way. There are certain things we are told by adults who were told by their adults who were told by their adults that these things matter. And one of the fundamental things that matters is that you go on living. And so uh, everybody is tremendously concerned with the things that matter that they've been taught to uh, value. And because these things actually don't matter, that is to say, because they are not substantial, but they're all a flowing pattern, as I illustrated. A flame uh, seems to be a substantial object. It's there, and it could burn you, and it's, you can watch it for a long time. Actually, it's a stream of hot gas. And so, likewise, the human organism is a stream of energy. It's never the same for two seconds. Only we've been taught to watch that thing and to cherish it and value it, and it matters, damn it. And yet it's going to wear out, and yet it's going to get sick, and yet it's going to die. So everybody is involved in playing the game of life in a way that goes beyond play and becomes deadly serious. And as a result, the whole of existence is lived in a state of constant frustration. Because you are trying all the time to hold together and to preserve something which in the long run can't be preserved. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Oh, it's gone. Uh-uh. Yep. Uh-uh. Yep. Where is it? In the lake. <laughs> Did it die? It's gone. Did it die? Yeah. It's gone. No way? <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, kinda. What? Kinda. Are you sad? Oh, it's all right. I just saw the battery just, <laughs> it was so close, it was like maybe 3,000 feet, just like real close. Sad. Yeah, but it's all right. You have a nice GoPro on that. Uh-huh. I was going to try and land it on a boat. Want to see? <laughs> <laughs>